Todd here, and uh, welcome to another edition of Toddster's Magical Mystery Review. And uh, today we're going to take a look at the second album with the Beatles, and uh, released November twenty second, nineteen sixty three, same day uh, uh, President Kennedy was shot, and uh, it was released on on Polyphone Records as well, and. Um, and was number one for 21 weeks and even bumped uh, Please Please Me, uh, their first album, uh, off the number one slot after 30 weeks. So so almost a, week, I, a whole year they were number one on the album charts. Uh, so anyway, a uh, little backstory here. Um, what happened between, uh, between those two albums? So a lot had happened as, uh, you know... Um, they put out a couple more hit singles, a couple more number ones for me to you, she loves you, and uh and they appeared on, you know, the the London Palladium and uh and the Royal Variety Show and you know, Beatlemania is uh is in full swing in England and throughout and throughout Europe as well. Whilst the first album was made uh, the majority of it was made in only one day, the second took even longer. <laughs> I had to throw that out, you know. That's your Ruddles reference there. So let's uh, let's look at the songs, shall we? And uh, we start off with uh, "It Won't Be Long," and this uh, this is a great song. It's uh, an awesome upbeat number from John, and um, and it has a girl group feel to it. And uh, you know, this whole album has a has a bit of group uh, girl group feel to it as well on some of the songs here and um and what's great about it is the uh the the middle eight with those with those uh descending chords uh underneath those uh wonderful harmonies and also the major seventh harmony at the end you know just remember they they ended uh, she loves you with the major six harmony for this one uh, this song uh it ends with the seventh there you go. Then we move into uh, All I've Got to Do. Now it's it's a nice song from John and also also another Smokey inspired uh, tune, Smokey Robinson. And um, yeah, pretty good. And uh, then we go into uh, All My Lovin' from Paul. And it's a wonderful song. You know, what could I say about it? You know, it's... It's one of those great, uh, great Beatles, early Beatles songs there. And, uh, you know, the John's strumming, like, uh, sort of like the Do Run Run strums to it. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. And, and also George's unique solo, guitar solo is pretty magic, magical. And, uh, oh yeah, and uh, if you notice, uh, if you notice on the, uh, at the second, uh, during the second verse, like, um, like uh, Ringo always changes his uh, drum pattern during the chorus. Well, he sort of makes that little mistake uh, on the sec beginning on the second verse, but uh, he soon uh, he soon realizes and go back to his uh, you know you know what I mean. <laughs> then we move to uh, George with his very first uh, composition, "Don't Bother Me." Now it's it's very moody, very. Yet very good and very George. So, you know, not bad for for a first try. Even though he said, you know, it wasn't a, you know, wasn't a good song. You know, but it's it's okay. I he'll get better by then. <laughs> then we go into um, Little Child. Now it's that's okay. You know, nothing big, but uh, you know, the harmonica makes the song, in my opinion. So. Then we move into the very first cover. Wow, we've got five five originals to get to the first cover, and it's uh, "Till There Was You" from the uh, the Music Man uh, show, and also from Sophie Tucker. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's um, I believe it's their first uh, all acoustic song. Well, mostly all acoustic, with, with the exception of Paul's Hofner bass. That's the only electric uh, electricity to it. So. Yeah, it's it's very sweet, very calm, and and it's it's lovely, very lovely. And then we go into the the last song on the on the first side, and uh, and it's um, 
the old Marvelette uh, tune. Please miss the postman. Now it's, I really like this song. It's one of the great uh, cover tunes, so to speak, you know. And, you know, the hand claps, the harmonies, you know, John's double track vocal, you know, it, it's brilliant, so to speak. And then, uh, then we flip the record over to, to another song from George. This time it's a rocker. It's badass, so to speak. You know, pardon my French. So, um, and it's the old Chuck Berry number, Roll Over Beethoven, and, uh, man, this, um, man, the way he delivers, he delivers that song vocally and musically is pretty, you know, makes, makes you want to, you know, move about, about and dance a bit, you know, so to speak. And it's, it's, ah, perfect, perfect. And, um, then we go into, uh, Hold Me Tight from Paul. Nah, nah. Skip to the next one. Doesn't mean anything. Then we go into, um, You Really Got a Hold on Me. Now, we just heard, we heard, uh, John's little pastiche to Smokey. And now we're going to hear a cover version of, uh, of Smokey Tune. And it's, and it's, uh, it really, they really give good justice to, compared to the original version and uh you know a lot of great uh, great vocal from john and george you know on the backing lovely then uh, then we go into uh i want to be your man with ringo now uh this was written by john and paul uh actually written for the stones for um for for one of their singles and it it became a big hit and you know opened the door door for them and then uh they gave it to Ringo to give him a give him a vocal spotlight on this album. So it's a really good song, you know, another dancey tune, so to speak. And then, um, then we hear uh, the third offering from George, and this time uh, a very obscure s s song, a uh, cover from a very obscure girl group. Um, it's called "Devil in Her Heart" from the uh, the Dones and. Uh, it's okay, you know. It's all right, and um, we move on to um, "Not a Second Time" from John. Now this is the famous. Uh, this is when the uh, the, the London Times uh, noticed the Aeolian cadence of uh, of this song. But uh, you know, whatever that means, uh, they really like it, and uh, you know, I like it too. And lovely, and uh, and then we end the. Uh, we end the movie, uh, the movie, <laughs> we end the album with uh, another Motown song, Motown cover, that's Money, the old Barrett Strong tune, and, uh, you know, just like what it was with Twist and Shout on the last album, you know, this is an, another absolute kicker and a perfect closing number for this album, and uh, very oomph as well, so, you know. And uh, I, I do get a kick out of um, you know when the Wiki, Wikipedia uh, credited the um, each of the members. They, they credit John Lennon as scream to screaming. <laughs> so you know, uh, you know, and it's a screaming, uh, it's a screamer as well. So, so there you have it. Now, um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, we'll talk about uh, the album cover as well. Now. Um, this was shot by uh, Robert Freeman, who uh, would later uh, do um, do a few more uh, few more album covers of, of theirs. And uh, this was shot uh, when they were in Bournemouth in a hotel. And um, and as you can see, uh, they're all dressed up in the turtlenecks. And uh, they uh, they had this idea. Beatles had this idea of uh, doing. Um, so replicating the style of uh, one of their uh, Hamburg uh, friends, Astrid Kirchner, who uh, you know was a fiance of uh, Stuart Sutcliffe, early member, and also photograph of those famous uh, those famous Hamburg uh, uh, photos, and so and so they did that, and uh, it was uh, Robert's uh, idea, you know, instead of you know all four of them standing, you know, in a single line. We thought he thought um, 
why not we get Ringo, who, you know, is the drummer and also the short one. Let's make him more shorter, so to speak. <laughs> so, you know, it's, um, and it has been, uh, you know, it has been imitated and mocked uh, throughout the years. And it's one of those great uh, album covers, so to speak. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's lovely as well, you know. So, what do I say about this? Uh, my closing remark. Well, it's, it's a very good album, you know. A nice improvement from the from the first album, so to speak. Yet it has that same formula, you know. Eight originals, six covers as well. But, you know, it's... Overall, it's a it's good, good album. So, so my ranking is... Uh, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna give this three and a half Beatles, so to speak, and so so there you have it with the Beatles, and uh, join me again uh, next time where uh, where we go we go to the movies, and uh, until next time my name's Todd, ta-da, to blue.